Hi friends. In this video I have given 9 different methods to fix different types of VC runtime.dll system file error. Before we proceed further, let me ask you some questions. Did you check your application and Windows operating system should have the same version or not? Both should be either 32-bit or 64-bit. Check whether the version of the application you are using is compatible with the Windows operating system of your computer. Check which Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package is necessary for your application, is it available on your computer or not? Did you make any recent hardware or software related changes into your computer? What is the complete error message? When did it appear on your computer? Are you using any third-party antivirus program? As initial troubleshooting steps, we would like to check if the issue is with the computer and for that you may try to installing the same application in a different computer, or try to move the application setup file to an external USB and check if it works fine on another computer. Reboot your PC after installing a new application. Reinstall the app which is having DLL related issues. Sometimes this issue may be caused when a dependent DLL file is used by some other application. Sometime a dependent DLL file may be overwritten by an earlier version of the DLL file after installing a recent application on your computer. In order to recover it, check to recycle bin. If the issue still persists, then the issue may be with the application setup file. If you are still getting the error message, I would suggest you to follow the following methods. To update your current version of Windows, go to search and type settings. Now click on settings. Inside settings page, click on update and security. Now click on check for updates button. Click on the restart button, to execute all updates on your computer. If you have any third party antivirus, you can use it, or you can also use Windows Defender. In order to perform a full system scan by using Windows Defender, go to search and type Defender. Now click on Windows Security Settings. Inside Settings page, under Windows Security option, click on Virus and Threat Protection.
Now click on Scan Options. In order to perform a full system scan, select the Full Scan option. Now scroll down. Click on Scan Now button. Remember, this process takes a few minutes to a few hours. In order to fix the corrupted operating system files, run the deployment image servicing and management tool. Type command prompt in the search bar. Right click on command prompt. Select run as administrator. Now type the following commands inside command prompt. Press, Enter. In order to check if it fixes the issue, restart computer. To start system file checker tool, go to start and type command prompt in the search bar. Right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes. Type sfc slash scan now in command prompt. And then press enter. Don't close this command prompt windows until the verification is 100% completed. After the process is finished, you may receive one of the following messages. If you find this message, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. This means that you do not have any missing or corrupted system files. In case if you find this message, Windows Resource Protection could not perform the requested operation. To resolve this problem, I have a detailed video related to this topic. Link is given in this video description. Steps to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable packages for Visual Studio 2015. Go to the below link. Click on download button. For 32-bit windows, Download vc underscore redist.x86.exe file. For 64-bit windows, download both vc underscore redist.x86.exe, vc underscore redist.x64.exe files. Click on Next.
After downloading has been completed, go to the location where exe files are downloaded. Now open and install both the files for 64-bit windows. In case if you have 32-bit windows, install only vc underscore redis.x86.exe file. In order to fix VC Runtime 140.dll missing error, check the redistributable package used by existing DLL file of your computer. Open System32 folder inside C drive. And then select VC Runtime 140.dll file. Now click right. And then click on Properties. Inside Properties, select details option now you can see here the redistributable package used by dll file go to search and type control panel now click on control panel inside control panel click programs and features option Now select Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable and right click on it. To repair Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable package click on change. Now click on the repair button. After the repair has been done, click on close. To uninstall the application which shows DLL related error, go to start and type control panel. Now click on the control panel. Inside control panel select programs and features option. Now select the application which shows DLL related error. Click right and then click on uninstall. Press yes to the dialog box. Now the application has been successfully uninstalling. Click on the OK button. Double click on EXE file. Press the install button. Wait for some time until the process has not complete. After the application has been installed successfully, now restart the computer. Take a good known copy of DLL file. Copy the new VC Runtime 140.dll file. Now open this PC. Open C drive. 
Inside C Drive open Windows folder. Now open System32 folder. Locate the current VC Runtime 140.dll file on your system. Rename the VC Runtime 140.dll file to VC Runtime 140 Backup.dll file. Now paste the DLL file here. Similarly, if you have 64-bit windows, then also paste the same file in the syswow64 folder. You can also download DLL file from www.dll-files.com or you can use DLL file fixer, link is given in the video description. In order to fix this error, open Google. In the Google search bar, type VC Runtime 140.dll. Click on search button. Now click on the link www.dll-files.com. Scroll down. If you have 32-bit windows, download 32-bit file, and if you have 64-bit windows, download 64-bit file. Here, click on download option. Now go to the location where zip file has been downloaded. Open this zip file. Now drag VC Runtime 140.dll file on the desktop. Copy this file. Now open this PC. Open C drive. Inside C drive open Windows folder. Scroll down. Now open System32 folder. Inside System32 folder, paste the copied file. Click on Continue button. If you have 64-bit windows, Paste the same file in syswow64 folder, inside windows folder. Now VC Runtime 140.dll file error has been fixed. Please subscribe, share, and like this channel.